Is the backdoor Roth IRA strategy right for you? Something to work with your CFP on. I have the perfect example of when it should be used. I got that and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. So the backdoor Roth IRA strategy. Is it a strategy that you should consider? So here's the deal. I, absolutely, if it makes sense. And you know, the stars need to align. Uh, you've got to have a, a, a certain set of circumstances where, yeah, the backdoor Roth is something you should consider. And I tell you, if it's, if it's something you should consider and you haven't been aware of it, I mean, you could be missing out on a significant amount of tax-free growth and, and compounded over your lifetime, maybe your kid's lifetime as well. I mean, thousands of dollars potentially in tax savings, uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars really. And so it, if this strategy makes sense for you, my goodness, work with your CFP and get started. Now, like I said, the stars need to align, but the, the big idea is if you're eligible to fund a Roth IRA and that using that tax shelter makes a ton of sense, great. You just take some you know, some, some money up to $6,000 per year, uh, uh, 7,000 if you're age 50 or older, contribute it directly into the Roth IRA, invest it according to your financial plan, and then have it grow tax-free, tax-deferred, and pull it out tax-free uh, in the future. I mean, perfect, that's how the Roth IRA works. But what if you're not eligible to contribute to a Roth IRA. And why might you not be eligible? The, the primary reason is your income is too high, right? So the income thresholds, they change each and every year, but just on, just ballpark it, if for a married filing joint couple, if you, if you make over, let's say 195,000 together, a joint, that's your adjusted gross income, you can't, you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. You can't contribute directly to a Roth IRA. If you marry filing separate, can't, I mean, I think your income needs to be below 10 grand to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. So, um, so if you make too much money and you want to contribute to a Roth IRA, you're unable to. Enter the backdoor Roth. Now, I just had a scenario where I was thinking for these folks, it, you should be considering contributing to the Roth IRA. Their, their kids were just about out of college. So the, actually the kids were, one, their, their last child was graduating and their income, their joint income together was about 165,000, something like that. So in all the analysis that we got started serving this couple, it was like, yeah, the, the Roth IRA seems to make sense. Fund your 401k as much as you can. The Roth IRA then seems to make sense with this extra, these extra dollars that they had. And so, you know, we, we sit down in the meeting and they start telling me a little bit about their circumstances and it's the perfect, they, I mean, the stars lined up exactly where we flip the strategy. So instead of funding the Roth IRA, I then looked and said, well, maybe we should do the IRA. And then it was, no, the backdoor IRA makes the most sense. So there's a perfect strategy, a uh, perfect time to consider the backdoor Roth Here's the scenario. So like I said, young couple, they make about 165,000 based on their return last year. Two kids, um, one already out of college, the last one was graduating college this year. Here's the thing, they don't have much in savings. They, or excuse me, they, have, they don't have much in investing. They've got a fully funded emergency fund and because they went through some challenging times financially, they've actually overfunded their emergency fund. They wanted a lot of dollars extra in their emergency fund. And so they're sitting on a lot of dollars in cash. Uh, they've got a manageable mortgage, but again, because they've gone through some challenging times financially, now that they're making good money again, they barely spend. They, they really manage their budget, manage their lifestyle because they've they've gone without and they've seen how challenging that is. So again, they've they started making around this 165,000, but they only spend around three, three to 4,000 a month. So that's led to lots of discretionary savings that they've built up into cash. Well, now as that 
as that uh, cash amount has reached a certain level, they came in and said, hey, we might need a financial plan. We might need, it might be time to start investing. We haven't done much investing. It might be time. So based on that situation, we looked and based on their situation was, we'll okay, you should consider the, um, a, a Roth IRA. Well, as I was teaching that in the meeting, he then said, yeah, I'm actually on pace to make a lot more this year. Well, fantastic. You know, and I actually said, go, go out and make as much money as you possibly can. How much do you think you're going to make? He said, all right. I mean, this year with commissions and everything between both of our incomes, we might make $230,000. It's fantastic, but immediately can't do the Roth IRA. Can't do it, right? They make too much money. So then I thought, well, we probably need that deduction from the IRA then because they're in a higher tax bracket because he's making more money. We need the deduction of the IRA. And, and so I said, okay, do you have a 401k available? Do, does she have a 401k? And it turns out he has an old 401k, but now he's not eligible for his 401k. So he does not have a 401k available. Again, I think, okay, deductible IRA. She works part-time and does have a 401k available to her. So that means because it's available to her, now they make too much money to fund a deductible IRA as well. So perfect opportunity to contribute to the backdoor Roth. Now, just big picture, we start talking about, okay, should we be funding your 401k and all that sort of stuff? So, but so obviously we talked about that, but I'm not gonna address that in today's video. So now they don't already have pre-tax IRAs. They don't, neither of them have that. He's got a small, very small old 401k, a couple thousand dollars in it, not, not much. Um, but they don't have a, 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 an IRA that already has pre-tax money in it. This is the perfect time. They make too much money to contribute to a Roth IRA, and so they can contribute to a normal traditional IRA, but they're not allowed to deduct that contribution, and we don't want them to. So they contribute to a normal traditional IRA, but do not deduct the contribution. You don't have to deduct it. In fact, they make too much money, they're not allowed to. And now that they've contributed to that IRA with after-tax money, and that's the only money in their IRA, in their traditional IRA, it's after-tax money, we can then convert that to the Roth IRA. And in that conversion, none of it is taxable because it was never tax deducted in the first place. Voila, we've got money contributed to the IRA, converted into the Roth. Now all that, all that money is in the Roth IRA, able to grow tax deferred and tax free for that couple's lifetime. And in their late 40s, early 50s, that works perfectly. Lots of time for that money to, to, to grow tax deferred and grow and to be able to be pulled out tax free in their lifetime. Perfect scenario for the backdoor Roth. What are those ingredients again? Uh, they, they, make too much money, unable to fund the Roth IRA, unable to fund a pre-tax IRA, don't already have pre-tax money in an IRA and have the discretionary income, the financial goals to suggest we need to be funding a, uh, a retirement vehicle. Those are the ingredients, all right? It was perfect scenario. Do you have a similar circumstance? So the backdoor Roth IRA does get a lot of attention. It sounds like a cool strategy. I've seen people use it when they don't even need to. You don't make enough money, you could fund a traditional uh, or a normal Roth IRA. You don't need to do a backdoor. So don't, don't do this strategy if you don't need to, but if you, if you need to, the circumstances, the, the stars need to align, and then absolutely go for it. Work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP that's doing that creative financial planning for you, again, your certified financial planner should be able to offer clarity, confidence, and creativity. So those creative ideas. If that's not what you're getting, you can contact a CFP on my team. You can find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with a K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or give us a call, 574 247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.